Because I really want to have just about free form dreads. Um, so I'll probably have this for about a year to see how, see how it goes. And then from there on, I think I might um, either cut it or just keep it. Welcome back guys to another video of Activerse Universe. Today we're gonna be doing this dude's hair. But uh, you gotta, you know say it's ready, start a dreadlock. Or you can just call it a twist. Or you can call it, what do you call it? I call it a twist. Call it a twist. You still got uh, blonde hair, bro. Let's get to this video, you know what I'm saying? Let me show y'all how to do this. How to do a taper for starter up blocks, you know what I'm saying? I think he started it with twist. No, I think he started off with sponge rub, right? He used to do a lot of yeah, sponge a lot rub. Of sponge rub for like a couple of months. Yeah, he started with a sponge rub. I think uh, Gunner the Great did a video of him doing a sponge rub tutorial. And that will show you guys basically how to start. And then from there, you get to this part. He started twisting it just one by one by picking out his hair. Uh, he didn't section it out or anything. So it's going to be, even if it turns to a dreadlock, it's going to be one of those skinny dreadlocks. So he's able to braid it and make it like look like Quavo in them, you know what I'm saying? It'll look nice if you keep going or if you even free form it from here because it's gonna start having its own shape and form. Whatever direction that he wants to take it, that's up to him. Retwist video for mine coming soon. Don't hate, uh, just subscribe, uh, like, share. All right, guys, today I'm gonna be showing you guys step by step how to taper a fresh new uh, dreadlock, starter lock, and everything. Uh, so basically, right here, you start off with the uh, slimline pros uh, if you have other clippers and then you come with the shaver with it so you can clean it up and then you open your guard right here I don't know why I'm going so fast man slow down bro uh, always you want to use brush but see I, how you guys see me basically closing it up as I go uh, down and uh, and if, if you go higher you just open it up because the more you open it the more uh, the less hair you are cutting basically so right here I come in I'm coming with the with the one open, uh, kind of like making another guideline. So this is all about guideline game, man. You keep making your guideline, you keep going up, but, uh, and brushing. And brushing is key because, especially if you have curly hair like this, it curls up all the time. And right here, I'm actually, uh, I, I, I closed it right here and I, I'm hitting it, uh, not against it, but uh, towards it so that I can trim and makes a lot, a lot of changes. But whenever you do that, usually you want to close it if you're going down because it's like it's the same length of you if you're going against it opening it versus closing it and if you're going towards it it's the same basically it's the same thing but it's a little bit more easier to do that whenever you're trying to get a bulk out so right here is actually the most uh, hardest part of cutting hair is doing it around the ear whenever they want to line up the ears so you just want to make sure the customers are comfortable or your clients are comfortable, but at the same time, you wanna get that ear hair off because a lot of people have the, a lot of hairs right there. So right here, I'm just making some guidelines to know exactly uh, where I need to line it up later on and, and also match it to the other side of his, his head so that uh, everything can look out even and everything. So this is not actually the final uh, shape up of his um, hairline, but I'm just making some guidelines, making sure it's kind of clean a little bit but I'm gonna come back to it later on and I'm gonna uh, hit it with a razor also. Uh, brushing it is key, like I said, look at that taper. He just wanted a little light taper and the taper, as you guys can tell is, uh, and also right here, what I'm doing is I'm showing him basically, uh, I'm asking him if you wanna coil those part out cause I don't wanna keep hitting it with a with a guards. So I told him, okay, I'm not gonna hit it with a two guard cause I only went up to one guard. I told him I'm not gonna hit that. I'm just gonna let it grow so that you can twist it with the brush that I dread so it can look Pretty nice. Also, right here, you can tell uh, uh, there was parts that was hit before, and I don't want to hit it this time. I'm probably going to go all the way up to one guard, and that's about it. I don't want to keep going up because he want to get a full head free form going on, except for the bottoms. He want to taper the ends and the bottoms in the back of his neck. And so right here, I left that little part out right there. I'm going to zoom in, I believe, right there. Uh, because later on, when I hit it with a, uh, with a liner, basically what it does is a, it's kind of like a marker so how you know how a lot of uh, people that you guys probably watch barbers use uh fake enhancers or whatever but if you're if you're actually using the person's hair this is another method or this is another uh easy way to to basically get a good crispy lineup by leaving that part dark because later on whenever you hit it with a 
uh, like I said, with a liner, it will look very outstanding, and it will have the, it will have the outline showing. So right here, basically, like I said, I'm trying to figure out where to stop at. I don't want to keep hitting it. The one guard is the one I'm using just to blend the last part. As you guys see, I'm flicking. You got to flick a lot whenever you're doing tapers. Any haircut, really, you got to flick. But tapers, you really got to flick because you don't want to get a lot of his hair out from the actual hair that he wants to keep. And right here, I'm just opening and closing one guard. Uh, this one is a 0.5. So every time you see the great one, the gray, uh, uh, what is it called? The gray guard basically it is the 0.5 right here as you guys uh, as i told you earlier uh see how it's dark it's really dark because i left that part out and now it looks very fresh very clean and i'm gonna hit it with a razor later on so it looks very outstanding and also the shaver helps to get rid of the side of the uh, little hairs that you see uh but you won't see you can't really see it with the with a camera eye, but with your eyes, you can see it. So right here, I'm hitting the other side of this hair so I can match the other side. Like I said, if you use this method where you go, all, it's like an oval, uh, uh, it's like a oval end, um, and you leave the corners dark, you will get a fresh, fresh, fresh line up at the end. Uh, right here, basically, I'm doing the same thing I did earlier on the other side. Uh, I'm gonna fast forward this part because it's the same things follow the same things that I said over there And if you guys want like really step by step like really slow uh, Tutorials then if I get like about uh, If I if I get about two three hundred likes on this one That means that you guys are really messing with this because I, I don't think I, I get that many likes on haircuts And so if you guys are really messing with it and want to learn I will definitely go step by step and list down the guards and list down the clippers that I use and the razors and everything but this is just kind of like a really run through of how to, i feel like most of y'all already know how to cut and want to know or learn more and so i'm giving y'all some tips so right here he has some front hair that he wants to get rid of so i'm um, basically uh whenever you do hairlines you always want to come with a, a one open or closed based on their hair uh texture uh to kind of like smooth down the area because or else whenever you hit it with a uh, uh, clippers with the T, pl uh, T pros that I got, it will start curling up and you won't be able to get a crispy lineup. So you want to be able to get rid of some of the hairs that's already been coiling. And it don't look like he has that much hair, but actually watch till I hit him with the, uh, with the clips and it will look fresh, fresh. And you'll start seeing it too, where his hairline is at. Uh, a lot of people actually don't know how to cut hair or whatsoever. So everybody that looks at uh, people cutting hair, oh, you push his hairline back. No, no, you're not pushing his hairline back. We evening out his hairline that was pushed back. But his hairline actually is pretty good. It's not as bad as uh, mine, <laughs> per se, because mine is a little bit back. Uh, uh, it's not pushed back, but uh, it's that's where my hairline is at, basically. So right here, I'm just crisping out the corners, the edges, making sure everything is uh, um, perfect line and syncopated with everything else that's already been flowing. And right here is when actually the magic really happens. Before I had a razor, I had problems with having good hair lines. Uh, I did get good hair lines. I ain't gonna lie. Before I had razors, I actually learned the best way to have good hair lines without razors. But hair, razors actually help out so much because they just emphasize on what you did with the uh, with the clippers. So I'm fast forwarding it, but you guys can tell right here that uh how good it came out, but enjoy the rest. Mm -hmm. 